Namaskar and Shubha Deepavali again to everyone. Today is the second day of Diwali, known as Narka Chaturdashi. According to the Hindu and Indian calendar, on the lunar month, we are in Kartik Mas, Krishna Paksh. We celebrate Deepavali for five days. And I love the fact that during Diwali, there are so many deities and gods that we celebrate. But the end result is the same, the destruction of the demon, Narkasur, on this day, where, especially in Goa, where I am and where my home is, we celebrate the destruction by burning an effigy of Narkasur. He was the son of Mother Earth, Bhu Devi, but he became very arrogant and was picking up young women, young girls from their homes and holding them captive. He did not know what it meant to be a giver, but was just a taker. It is believed that Krishna came and destroyed him with his Sudarshan Chakra. But the story also goes that he was destroyed by Krishna's wife, Satyabhama, and Satyabhama destroyed him. This day is also worshipped as Kali Chaudas, where Kali is supposed to have, as the strong woman, destroyed Narkasur. But the end result was the same. We destroyed Narkasur on this important day. So we pray to Kali. It is also a day that people remember their ancestors. So the entire month, people remember the ancestors. And on this day, 14 lights are lit around the house. Food is prepared to welcome the forefathers and the ancestors to come and feast. It is a day of giving gifts to each other, forgetting old grievances against people. And in general, the doors of hell or Narka are shut because as everyone celebrates, good is generated. It is also a day that the followers of Shiva and Shaivites pray to Shiva because it is on this day that Shiva and Parvati were promised to each other and this was the day that the tie between the two of them had been decided to be, have a marriage between them which was of course done later. The time is very important at 5.23 a.m. on this day people have what is called the Abhyanga Snana. So it is done during moonrise, but before sunrise. So everyone gets up very early and with sesame oil and different herbs, they bathe themselves. There are beautiful songs and music that is lit. There is floral designs and rice designs done outside everyone's home, as you would to welcome a guest. And it is this day that we welcome all the different deities. It is also a day that we pray to Hanuman, the not just the messenger of Ram, but somebody who is known for strength and immense loyalty. It is also a day in the evening that a lamp is lit in the southern part of the house for the god of death, Yama. And Yama Deep is left over there to pacify and say, let there be no death in the home before it's time. So with all the wonderful Hindu gods coming together, the one thing that I do know about Narka Chaturdashi is destroying ignorance, darkness, dispelling all darkness, and bringing about light in everyone's life. So, happy Narka Chaturdashi to all of you. And may there be no darkness in anyone's life. Mm -hmm.